Hey guys, it is Josh Melitas for channel, and today I'm reviewing the Silicon Power Armor A80. This is the two terabyte version, and I'm gonna tell you how my experience has been from a filmmaking and photo editing perspective. In the box, this drive comes with a 12 inch USB cord, as well as a smaller USB cord embedded into the actual hard drive itself, which is a very nice touch. There's also a manual, and of course there's no case, because this hard drive is the otter box of all hard drives. So for this review, I'm going to break the video down into categories with the times displayed on the screen. The times will also be in the description below if you only want to see a certain part of this review. But starting out with the durability of this hard drive, I'm not going to roll it over with the car or burn it, but while filming for this review, I accidentally dropped it. And after hitting the ice and concrete, as the name implies, the Armor A80 survived perfectly fine. The durability was definitely one of the reasons I bought this hard drive. In case anything were to happen, I know that my files would be safe. Moving on to performance, I bought this hard drive for editing videos in Adobe Premiere and editing photos in Lightroom. While editing, footage imports and plays smoothly in Adobe Premiere, and I actually edited this video using the hard drive. Photo editing in Lightroom isn't the fastest, and this is partly due to my laptop not being the best editing rig, but with a faster machine, the drive will perform at its prime. Next up are the speed tests. In this example, I'm moving 174 RAW and JPEG photos from an SD card to the hard drive. Moving photos averages about 70 megabytes per second with occasional dips in speed, but this is great for my use. Moving music averages around 50 megabytes per second, and it transferred 135 songs in just under 13 seconds. Moving 3 gigabytes of footage from a slower microSD card provided an average of 65 megabytes per second. Now transferring a movie from my laptop's SSD, this is where the drive excels, reaching over 120 megabytes per second and finishing the task in under 10 seconds. And finally, testing the drive's read speed, it cruises through all video content, maxing out at 120 megabytes per second continuously. And finally, going over the pros, this hard drive is fast, the video editing speeds are great, it's built well and it's very durable. The embedded USB is a really nice touch in case you forget the regular USB at home. It runs very quietly, so unless you're in a silent room you will not be able to hear it. There is a blue on-off LED in the USB port on the hard drive, and the storage plus the price equals a great buy for the Armor A80. And for the cons, there aren't very many to mention, but I did find a few. Although it does vary between the files you back up, for backing up my laptop, it did take quite a while with this drive. The type of USB cord that is used, a USB to USB, is very difficult to find, so if you somehow end up losing both of them, you're probably not going to have one laying around the house. Now this is me being picky, but the embedded USB cord is too short when using this drive in an area with limited space, such as a car or a plane. Over the past six months of me using this drive, I've had no problems with it, and I've loved the performance that I've gotten for the price, and it's something that I could recommend to anyone looking for a hard drive in this market. I'll leave the link below to where you can buy the Armor A80, and if you have any questions about it, you can leave them down in the comments section below. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope this video helped you make a better decision on what hard drive to buy.